Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at simultaneous equations. Now before we start, I'd just like to introduce a new competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details on how to enter will be explained at the end of this video, so make sure that you watch it all the way through to the end. So we take a quick overview, simultaneous equations are useful when finding the intersection of two lines or a line and a curve. And there are two ways that you can solve these, you can either do it by substitution or elimination. And simultaneous equations allows you to find two unknown variables when you are given at least two equations. Because if we have one equation and two unknowns, it's impossible to solve. So we can't do regular linear manipulation, like changing the subject to the formula. We have to use a different method. And in this case, it is simultaneous equations. And some of the problem solving questions, you will be required to make the equation first. So it won't necessarily give you the two equations, it will give you a problem and you will have to create them first. So if we look at question one, it says determine the values of x and y using the substitution method. So the substitution method aims to combine both equations into one which will ultimately eliminate one of the unknown letters. So what we mean by this is if we replace the value of y in the second equation with x minus 3 because we know that this is what y equals. So y equals x minus 3. So if we replace this y with x minus 3, then the only unknown in the equation becomes x. You see we have eliminated the y. So then it becomes very, very straightforward. All we have to do is bring across the minus 3, so that will go over as plus. We can combine the 2x to give us 3x, and 15, where we get the 12 plus the 3. And then divide both sides by 3, and that will give us a value of x of 5. Now, once you have one value, it is very easy to find the second value. And all we do is we pick any of the two equations, we'll make it easy and we'll do the y equals x minus 3, we'll substitute in the value of x and that will give us the corresponding value of y. So we get x equals 5 and y equals 2. Now you can check these, you can plug them into both equations and make sure that you get the same answer. So question 2 says determine the values of x and y using the elimination method. So it's the same equations, but we're just going to do the other method to see if we get the same answers. Now the elimination method begins by placing the two equations one on top of each other. Now it is a good idea, and it makes it much easier, if we rearrange the equations to be in the same format. So we'll rearrange the top equation to have x, y equals minus 3. So we get minus x plus y equals minus 3. And then we keep the 2x plus y equals 12 the same. So now we need to decide which letter we're going to eliminate. Now always make it easy for yourself because we need to eliminate either the x or the y's but in order to do that they must be the same value. So the x's have different values. This is minus 1 and this is 2. So we would have to do some form of scale up in order to get these the same value. However, the y's are exactly the same. So we wouldn't have to multiply any of these equations by anything. We can now cancel these out by subtraction. So as it says here, we're going to cancel out the y's and the way that we can do this is take them away from each other. So here, we'll do the bottom equation, take away the top. So we take them away, that will cancel out the y's, and then we'll do 2x minus minus x, which gives us 3x, and 12 minus minus 3 
gives us 15, so x is 5. That's the same as what we got in the previous question. And again, if we substitute in the value of x, we will get the value of y to be 2. And that is the same value as we got by substitution. So question 3 is a problem-solving question, and one that we will have to create the equations first. So the question says that one family buys three adult tickets and five child tickets at the cinema for a total cost of £51.10 and the second family buys four tickets and four adult tickets and three child tickets which costs £48.70 and we have to write down two equations in terms of x and y to illustrate each family's ticket and the total cost. So we'll let X be an adult ticket and we'll let Y be a child's ticket. So family number one is going to be 3X plus 5Y equals 51.10. So that means that 3X, which is three adults, 5Y, which is five children, equals 51.10. And then it's the same thing for family number two. We have four adults, so 4X. We have three children, 3Y. And that comes to a grand total of £48.70. So that's us done part A. We've created the two equations. Now we will solve these by elimination for part B. So here we can't just cancel out the y's by themselves because they are different. So what we'll do is we'll scale them up. So we'll times this whole equation here by 3 and this whole equation by 5. That way, we get the same value of y on that equation and that equation. So now that they are the same, we can now take them away from each other. So we'll do the bottom take away the top to cancel out the y's. And that will get rid of the 15 y's. And that will take us 20x minus 9x is 11x. And 243.5 take away 153.3 is 90.2. If we divide that by 11, we get £8.20. So that is the cost of an adult ticket. And now we substitute in the value of x into any of the original equations. So you don't have to do these because these numbers are just a scale up. We can do the original equation and you can pick either one you want. I'll go for the 3x plus 5y equals 51.10. We'll substitute in and bring across the 3x and that will give us y is equal to £5.30. So a child's ticket is 5 30 and an adult ticket is 8 20 And that's how you would go about solving the different types of simultaneous equations either through elimination or substitution. Now it is your turn. So in order to enter the £250 prize giveaway at the end of the month for the whole of 2021, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the correct answer to this question here. Only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the draw. Now the more comments and entries you make on all the videos published in 2021 the more entries that you will have each month so this question here is similar to question three in that you will have to make the equation first and then find the individual price of a milkshake and an ice cream now the letters that you use it can be x and y it can be m and i it can be anything that you want all you have to do is comment the price of a milkshake and the price of an ice cream. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below along with the correct answer to the question we just seen. And we'll see you in the next video.